So this is another in my series of bite-sized bass hacks, and I'm doing a whole series of videos like this that are focusing on each individual thing I do, why I do them, and what you're trying to accomplish with it. And this week is uh, all about dual subwoofers. Now I've been very extensive on why I think dual subwoofers are really important, uh, what they do for you, uh, and, and things like that. Uh, a couple of things. It's not necessarily to get more loudness. Yes, that is a benefit. Yes, you do get that. But the whole idea behind running dual subwoofers is to be able to hear all of the bass. With a single subwoofer, you're going to get cancellations because of the standing wave effect. Uh, I did a video called Swiss Cheese Bass, same type of thing. And the reason I call it Swiss Cheese Bass is because there's parts of the music and, and, and things like that that you're just missing because no matter where you go in the room, you're going to be missing certain frequencies and that shifts within the room. As you walk around the room, it gets quieter over here, it gets louder over there. Duels get rid of the, well, they don't get rid of the problem, they reduce the problem greatly. And so, where as before with a single sub, you would hear certain frequencies really well and other frequencies really bad, and then as you move to another part, that changes. Okay, you can do this if you have a single sub. You can go around the room and listen for this. Okay, so that's a, a huge thing. It gets rid of that. So I'm all about splitting your budget uh, to get dual subs. Uh, I've got a list of subwoofers. Uh, I'll put down in the comments down below, or down in the description down below. Um, all of those subwoofers are subwoofers I would consider spending my own money on. Uh, I'm very picky. Uh, a subwoofer has to go down to 20 hertz. It has to be a flat response sub, things like that. So you check that out. Those are good subwoofers to look at. Uh, but rather than getting the biggest, baddest monster on there, I'd recommend splitting your budget and getting two. Uh, if you can't afford the biggest, baddest monster on there, awesome. It's phenomenal. I've been there. It's great. Um, but truly, I would rather, within that list, I'd rather split my budget on anything. So if my budget was three grand, I'd rather get two $1,500 subs or whatever. It really does make a difference. Uh, and again, it's not just about the loudness. It's not just about uh, you know, all of that. It really does make it to where the sound is cleaner. Uh, you get less overhang. You get fewer of the problems associated with subwoofers in general. Everything just comes out cleaner. Uh, I also find it more comfortable uh, for me. Uh, I can get ear fatigue if I just have one subwoofer going. I've gone back to dual subs on two occasions. Uh, both occasions were with big subwoofers that, you know, people would think, well, it's a huge subwoofer, it should just smash the standing wave and make it, you know, it should work it out, you just use enough power. It doesn't work that way. Uh, you can try boosting a null. So a null is a dead spot in the frequency range. And if you try and boost that null, uh, it won't work. You might get a little increased volume, but your neighbor will hear, hear it more than you do, okay? Uh, because it's the, the, the subwoofer is kicking out more volume at that point. You just can't hear it because you're in a dead spot, right? But if you have duels, all of a sudden you can hear that. So you can actually run your subwoofers lower and put less stress on them, and you're spreading that across two subs instead of one sub, so you're spreading the, the amount of power you need between two units. It's better for the sub, it's better for your neighbors. It's better for your ears. People say, oh, well, you only need dual subs if it's you know more than one person or more than one seating position. I call balderdash, hogwash. I don't believe in that. Uh, I use dual subs for me. Uh, it benefits my wife and, and other people in the room, for sure. But I run dual subs for me. I run it because I can hear all of the sound. I can hear all of the bass. It's all there. Uh, the one caveat to running duals is that um, obviously I think you should have deep bass subs, that's for sure. But the other caveat is uh, you, you want to go in and adjust your distance settings afterwards. So that's another uh, video I've done in this series is the distance hack. Uh, that's a good one to pay attention to, particularly for dual subs. Uh, but I really wanted to impress upon my viewers the importance of dual subs. It is, to me, it's vital. I've been doing this for a while. Every time I've gone back to a single, ah, oh, it's just, I know what it's supposed to sound like, and I don't get it. Um, a, dual, a single subwoofer just sounds kind of subdued. Uh, it, it just, it's just not right. And so you run dual subs, everything's better. Music, uh, it sounds and feels more like a theater rather than uh, a home system. When you run duals, it, I mean, 
the impact and everything just, it kicks so well. Uh, it's just better all the way around. So if you haven't considered duals or you're on the fence about it, please take it from me. Running duals, even if they're shallow subwoofers, your bass will still be better with shallow subwoofers. You won't get the depth that I always talk about, but even the sound with shallow subwoofers would even sound better. I highly encourage deep bass subs, but beyond that, dual subs are extremely important. So let me know what you, what you think down in the comments below. Uh, I appreciate you watching. I appreciate the support and please subscribe.